Thank you so much, Brian. This weekend, there is a chance to check out a brand new gym in Greensboro and enjoy a yummy treat. Esposito Fitness recently opened up. They are hosting a full day of yoga, snacks, mocktails, and vendors this Sunday there in Greensboro. I'd like to welcome Jake and Angelina Esposito joining us live now. They are the owners of the new gym. Congrats to you both. Thank you for being with us. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. us. You're so welcome. Angelina, I will begin with you. I just want you to share a little bit about the inspiration behind opening up this new gym. What has it been like for you guys? Um, it's been a very fun process, um, kind of learning, navigating how to um, run our own gym. Um, Jake has been training for a while now, but this is going to be our you know, first experience owning our own space. Um, it has been a little stressful, but very, very fun, very worth it seeing, um, you know, people feeling good after, you know, they do their practices or um, get a, in a good workout with Jake. Um, so it's definitely very, uh, it's been a very rewarding process. I bet. And Jake, you've been doing some personal training. What has it been like kind of turning that into now a business endeavor? Can you share some of your background? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I love personal training. I went to college for exercise and sports science at Coastal Carolina University. Um, I started personal training right after that, and then we decided to move to Greensboro after Angelina was pregnant with our second child, our son. Um, so we decided to move here and kind of bring a variety of health and fitness um, modalities to the downtown Greensboro area. And I uh, just want to offer our services to the community and, and do what we can. Go Sean to clears. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, so what are your future goals? I mean, you are really just kind of starting to take this off the ground, right? Where do you see yourself and what are you hoping to offer, like you said, the community there in the Gate City and even beyond? Yeah, so uh, one of our goals is actually to become a nonprofit and to be able to offer our services and other um, independent contractor services uh, to the community at an affordable price. Um, we really like to offer the community services um, that they can afford, and I know nowadays it's kind of hard to come by. Um, so that's that's one of our one of our big goals is to become become a nonprofit, kind of offer a sliding scale to where if you can't really afford our services, maybe donations can be donated, and people can still offer still. Still have access, still to, have our access services. to our services, mm -hmm. even though they, they, they may not be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Do you find that the need is great, you know, in that area? Are you hoping that people hear about this and then, you know, they may come come out and check it out, not only this Sunday for your event, but just in general? Um, yeah, I think the need is definitely there in the downtown area. Yeah, there's really no gyms in or it, there are a few in the, in the area. In, but, in that area. But in that area specifically, I think there is a need for it. And yeah. We're, we're excited to, to offer what we are. Yeah, yeah. And we want it to also be very community oriented, a place where people feel safe, a place where people can come if they don't have, you know, close family or close friends. We want it to be a family. Um, and, you know, just it is the very beginning foundation. So, you know, we're not there yet. But I think as we start to offer, more classes, more workshops, seminars. Um, we wanna do a lot with mental health. Um, we wanna raise money. We wanna be able to give back to the community. Um, but really just during this time right now, we wanna offer services that are gonna be beneficial to people's mental and physical health. Really, really great to hear that. And I know you have a sip and stretch event happening this weekend to have everyone come out, come together. Everyone is welcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we'll have vendors there. We'll probably have 10 to 15 vendors. We're going to have um, a couple food trucks, um, Mike's Vegan Cookout, Mo Empanadas, um, lots of fun shopping. We'll have yoga, um, a lot of great people. So come out, check out the vendors, check out yoga, or just come say hi and see the gym, see where we're located. Um, we are located inside the old Greensboro Gateway Center. So we're not, you, you won't see us if you're just walking by. So that's another reason we want to, you know, get out there and, and show people where we're at. 
Absolutely. We are so glad that you were able to come on our show here on The Local Vibe. Congrats to both of you once again. I know it will be very successful. So Stretch and Sip is happening this Sunday once again, folks, from 3 to 6 in the afternoon. The information is on your screen right now. For more information, give them a follow on their social media pages, Esposito Fitness. And once again, 620 Elm Street inside the Gateway Center.